the situation is as such. Everything you see in front of the camera, and there's that boat that we saw a couple of days ago. Everything we see here, not the jogger, used to look like the stuff over here, the buildings over there. So uh, that's actually not, not what we're going to talk about. The idea that came into my head uh, a few minutes ago was just the fact that I can stand here and see this and you can look at this and listen to me talk about me standing here while a helicopter buzzes above. But it's the fact that just that I can do that, it's, it's pretty amazing, you know, to be able to look, to think, to perceive things interact with something greater than yourself so I, uh, I don't know why I'm getting so philosophical maybe it's because it's the 50th um, episode but I just thought about that and I thought man that's so amazing you know that we, we just go about our lives and forget how beautiful and complex we are and um, one of the reasons for saying that has to do with this statue, which I'm going to turn to in a minute, or not a minute, a second. So that's a statue over here, and I'm going to go around the front and get the camera to go up, or hopefully it goes up. And it's actually a very nice statue, I like it a lot. So uh, here we go, up, 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 up. Okay, hopefully you can see it now. All right, this statue, of course, uh, I don't know who he represents, but it's... Uh, you see down on the thing you have this little plaque that says Stone Fired Matskopai, Nederland. And that's sort of like the, I think the steamboats, it was basically the steamboats or um, steam travel. Anyway, down at the bottom you see a list of people who died. And these are people who died fighting stupid war, as all wars are. I, I've never, ever heard of a war that was sensible. And so it's almost like couldn't the people who sent them off to destroy things uh, get a moment in which they realize just how fantastic human beings are? So why would you then destroy other human beings? Why would you, I don't know, use your creativity to um, invent destructive devices? I have no idea. I mean, I'm not in charge of these things. So there's little I can do about it, but I can sort of briefly think about that and then quickly turn my mind to the fact that it's just amazing being a human being so <laughs> I don't know how that sounds but really I, I'm very serious it's not I don't mean it, I mean it like a joke it's there's some moments when I'm sure you have them where it could be your somewhere it could be on holiday on a mountain in this huge field uh, in a valley and there's something about the weather and the lights and the temperature and how you feel. You just think, wow, you know, you're just so happy to be alive. And it's such a simple thing. And you can't, you can't put it in a bottle or you can't put it in, a, uh, in your pocket. You just feel it. So that's, um, yeah, that's that. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn back around. And uh, you can see a bit... Uh, it's a sort of sunset it's not uh, it's not quite dark and from this position you wouldn't see that you, you the sun is over on the left somewhere yeah sort of at the center of the screen but beyond that building that's where the sun is um, so anyway from this place I'm going to uh, let's see if we can get that helicopter that's buzzing up there and we'll sort of lock onto the helicopter for a bit. I hope you can see it. And uh, I'm going to say, see you.